up guys welcome back to my channel don't ask me how i found this video but we about to find out how to make any girl squirt in under three minutes let's get to it don't say i ain't never taught y'all nothing in this channel guy Let's go. Uh, that boosts your fucking uh, ego. Uh, but but you need to come back and fucking take care of it again. It needs to happen. I'm telling you, if a girl has never experienced it before, the time she's experiencing it, she's going to be remembering you and probably with her girlfriend. You know how I say that? Step one. Let's get to it. Uh, I'm going to break it down in five steps that you need to take. <laughs> if some of the steps are not in there, it's not going to happen. Unless it's... In for her to do it and she's done it before she might be able to do it but uh i really recommend you following all five number one the context you know a lot of uh women and i i, I was one of them like sometimes we're too much in our head and we're not thinking of what's happening we're like we're in our head just looking around uh i don't know for me it's really hard to focus facts i would say 90 percent of orgasms in the head 10 percent you know so uh if i'm in my head it's not gonna happen so what you need to do is like first of all set up the mood make sure that you're in an environment where she's not worried about anything she's not scared that somebody is just gonna walk in or um she's not uh thinking oh somebody's gonna hear me if i yell or uh you know or i gotta get cleaned up after this like she cannot be in those type of environment she gotta be like really relaxed if the girl is not relaxed it's gonna be very hard for her to make it happen and for you also it's gonna depend on if she's comfortable with you so if you're the one-time guy like you know it's your first time it might be a little difficult to make it happen if it's like the the boyfriend that's been in that relationship for a minute it might be easier because she's trusting you because what she really needs to do is <coughs> hand herself over to you like it's like okay do what you gotta do like she cannot be worried like oh he's gonna take advantage of me she cannot be not feeling safe she gotta like give herself to you like fully like literally take her so for that you gotta make her uh, make her feel comfortable around you also for her to not be so much in her head what you can do foreplay is really important so how you caress her try to make her feel like the the good feelings it doesn't have to be like head and all that shit that's not exactly what i'm talking about but more like for her to be more in tune with her body i know i keep on doing <coughs> myself but that's really like caressing to me that's really what how you get her there like caressing her so she can really feel those feelings of like okay your hands on her body and more on the softer side that's like on the really i mean i'm talking from me too but in what i read they kind of agree with what i what i'm saying too so just like being gentle being like um listening to <coughs> what she's saying what she's liking because at this point what you're doing is really for her and if you have this selfish ass mentality where you're like when am I getting mine? Like, no, you're doing that for her. I'm telling you. And then in the long run, that's going to work for you because her thinking you're the man in the... I ain't going to lie, bro. I, like, got bored and, like, tuned her out. But I know what the fuck she's saying. Fucking bedroom, she's not going to go nowhere. And also what you can do is to make her feel more comfortable, you can give her a compliment because, you know, as women, we are sometimes insecure or self-conscious like you know of cellulite for example you can tell her damn your eyes look good you know because in her mind she's gonna be like oh so he's not even seeing my cellulite he's just think my eyes is cool you know so try to reassure her make her feel comfortable give her compliments because i mean at this point i don't want to hear you guys we don't give bitches compliments i'm like you're trying to make the bitch come on that like Come on. Number two that you need to do is that you have to let her know what you guys are trying to do. Like, if you're really trying to make her come, like, the technique is kind of intense. So she, if she's never been through it, she's going to be like, 
yo, what are you doing? Like, come down, like, you know? Or uh, when she's gonna feel like she needs to pee because that's the feeling she's gonna feel. When she's gonna feel that, you need to let her know that, yo, you might feel like that, but I'm telling you, it's okay, let it go. So she knows, like, okay, it's okay. Whatever is gonna happen, you're gonna be okay. She's gonna be okay, and you're not gonna look at her crazy. So therefore, you make her feel more comfortable. Number three, all right, so now we're starting the technique. So, um, you know the G-spot? So the G-spot needs to be swollen. So it's easier for you to find it. And it's only swollen when she's super excited. So I know, you know, girls might get dry a little bit. So sometimes you gotta add some lube. Don't feel, um, don't feel bad because she's not wet enough. Like saying, oh, you don't like me no more. Oh, oh you don't like me enough. Or, uh, you're not uh, aroused enough, you know, I don't turn you on, don't take it like personally, it has nothing to do with you, it's like sometimes, okay, she's just not wet anymore. So you can use lube to make sure that she's really lubricated because you're about to go on a mission and if, you, and if her pussy is dry, it's not gonna help her, like it's gonna be very hard on you. So to, I don't know if you guys know where the G-spot is, but pretty much it's like maybe If you take two fingers, I don't know what two fingers you're using, if you're using these or if you're using this one, this one, I don't know, I don't know if you can see. So what you do is you take two fingers, whichever, we'll go with those two, whatever you're more comfortable. And when, so you enter it like this in her vagina, I'm, I'm gonna try not to say pussy today. Uh, you insert it like this, so you let the tip of your finger. She heard me. Hit the, 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 the wall, you know, we'll call it the wall or the surface that's like on top of, um, I don't know how to say it, you know, like, okay, let's say that's the, the clip. So you put it like this, but you make sure that you touch the surface that's on top, not the bottom, on top. And you follow, you guide it by still touching the top of it. And about when you put like two nickels in, nickels, <laughs> knuckles in, you're gonna start moving it in a like come here type of uh, motion like like this like come here you know type of thing so just to make sure make sure you're I've been doing the ram my whole life yeah. nails are not looking like mine that they're really trim because if it's um if it's not trim and it's too long and it's like just crazy you're gonna hurt her it's gonna be very irritating for her and it's not gonna be a good um uh ah experience for her so the the nickel i don't know if you're so the net the so the knuckles like about here i don't know how long are your fingers but um probably like three inches because that's about where the g spot is so then when you do like this what you're doing is pretty much touching the the g spot so when you do like this you're just um stimulating the g-spot so you go like gentle and you keep on doing and then you add uh with this finger you start touching the clip in a um, circle motion i know it might be hard but i think you guys are used to it because you've been fingering bitches your whole life i think so you why i was gonna say she ain't teasing the change teasing nothing new i call them bitches ladies and then so you go circle motion and you do like this like come here and circle both, but you guys probably can master that. And um, so yeah, but play with the clit at the same time because the clit needs to be uh, stimulated as well. And then also, if you can do, you have another hand, you can still caress her boobs, caress her body, uh, kiss her. Your mouth is still available because all of this is finger finger shape right now. So try to arouse her with other spots too. Also, how you know that the G-spot is stimulated properly or that you hit it, if the G-spot is just regular, like chilling, it's gonna feel like a knob or like kind of like a bump. But when the G-spot is stimulated to like the max, it's swollen, so it's way easier to find. And then it's gonna feel like a sponge. So it's gonna, the texture is gonna feel different. And then when you feel it spongy, <laughs> spongy, and you fucking know that it's ready to go. So, okay, so you do this shit for a little while. I don't know, you guys prefer the other finger? So you do maybe, I don't know. You do this shit for a little while, and then, but gently, you know? And then you're gonna feel her body start moving because 
she's getting aroused, you're playing with the G-spot, and then you're going to fill it with her body or maybe what she says, oh my God, what you're doing to me, or I don't know what bitches be saying, or like when, you know, your hand is in between her legs, so if she starts like squeezing your, your hand with her legs, you know, she started feeling it and feeling it and that she's probably close to coming, but not squirting. So what you do when she gets to that thing, that's number four. You switch up the motion, you know, so we were doing like the come here and the clit. Now what you do is you're going to tense up, like make your fingers uh, rigid. Like, so it's not doing like the, hey, come here. It's not doing that. It's like straight, straight like and hard. And then still your hand on the clit is possible. And then what you do, you can set your whole arm, right? The whole arm, not just the, the wrist because your wrist is going to get tired. So then you go and you go like the whole arm, like really hard. And I'm telling you, you're going to be like, yo, I'm going to break her. You're not going to break her. The pussy is really uh, elastic. And uh, remember, babies come out of it. So I'm telling you. And then if, she, if it's too hard, she's going to say, yo. Uh, shorty, yo, shorty, you're free. Relax a little. You're hurting me. Like, hopefully not like that. But, you know, I'll be saying shit like that. But uh, she's going to try to explain to you, yo. Like, she's going to guide you and tell you slow down a little bit or, or not. Maybe it's not even hard for her. She might even tell you harder. So keep on going like this. Like, at this point, you're all the way playing with uh, her G-spot. And it's really hard. So her body, and it's tiring. I hope you guys worked out. Because it's like, you got to stay on there until she starts squirting and i'm telling you don't stop unless she tells you to stop don't stop or if she's like oh my god i think something is coming she's like i'm scared just keep going we ensure her that it's cool you know because she might feel like oh my god i'm about to pee and you're like yeah that's the sensation just keep going and then when she starts squirting i'm telling you in like in a few seconds of doing that motion she should start squirting and um, if not, you keep on going a little longer, you know, and it's going to come. Once sh you see her shooting for the stars, don't stop right there because it's probably more in her than you know. So keep on going until there is nothing left. So you finished her. Game over. Oh, that's it. That's it, boys. That's how you fucking make it happen. But number five. Ooh, number five, damn, I was gonna skip a step. I need to give you a little more. Don't be surprised if she start laughing, crying maybe, <laughs> or even like just, oh my God, like she can't believe herself. Like hey, this is kind of pointless. We already did our job. Hey. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see the reaction after we did our, a good job. She can't believe it because it's something that a lot of women don't do. Uh, it doesn't happen to them. So then when it happens, they're like, yo, what the fuck was this? And it's a buildup, you know? It's like, imagine you not coming for years. Can you imagine how it's gonna feel when you're gonna come your first time? It's gonna feel crazy. So that's how she's feeling. And you know, it's a lot of buildup. So it's just like, yo, what the f Ooh, I'm gonna make y'all bitches go crazy for me. Ooh. All right, man, I'm gonna end it here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Come here, favorite part. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. How many times do I got stressed that I, I just put y'all boys on some game. I'm and also ladies, I put y'all boys on some game. All right. All right, stay tuned, man. We got big things coming up on this channel, all right? If you want to donate my channel, Cash App going to be in the bottom of the link description. If you want to follow me on IG, my social is going to be in the bottom of the link description. I'll see you guys on the next episode of In the Day in the Life of a Upcoming Rapper.